and I'm going to cleanse and purify you of all the blasphemous things they have uttered against you and your mother. And today, we live in a world in which they don't dare to stand up and speak those things about Jesus anymore because the world will crush them today. They've been purified. Now listen. And the Quran then goes on to say that I'm going to raise those who follow you, O oh Jesus, raise them high and dominant over the other group which rejected him and which hurled these blasphemous things against him, these disbelievers. And when I raise them, the followers of Jesus, to that position of dominance, they will remain there until the end of the world. And so now, the Quran is helping you in Russia to understand what happened these last 20 years after the collapse of the Soviet Union, after the chaos which followed, this miraculous rise of Orthodox Christian Russia with missile technology second to none in the world to a position of military dominance today. This is what the Lord God said in the Quran 1400 years ago. And this is what has now happened. I am saying this to you so you might know what the Quran says that is applicable to you. That not only are you going to defeat NATO in this war, but more than that, that even after you have defeated NATO in the war, you will still remain the dominant force in the world. There will be none who can challenge you. And you just gave the world a very pleasing demonstration of that when you stopped Israel. The Quran speaks of you about, about the Orthodox Christian world. And there's a whole chapter in the Quran. And it's called Surah to Rum. And Rum, of course, comes from the original term Rome. So when the Roman, the, the pagan Roman Empire left Rome and went to Constantinople, they kept the name Rome with it. And that name Rome came in the Quran as Rome. But then came the transformation of that Roman Empire to become a Christian Empire. And so Rome in the Quran is not pagan, it's Christian. And the Quran speaks positively of that Christian empire, which was based in Constantinople, and which was called the Byzantine, or the Holy Byzantine Empire. Some pronounce it as Byzantine. And Allah speaks in the Quran and says that you will have two victories. By his help, you will be victorious twice. And the first one took place 600 years ago when the Quran was revealed at that time, when the Holy Byzantine Empire defeated Persia. And then said the Quran, there'll be a second one. But in between the two, there's something happening because the first one is described as before, Min Qabl, and the second one is described as Min Ba'd, after two victories, one before and one after. In between, there must be something. What is it? It's the Great Schism of 1054. When the West parted from you, and they went their way, and said, we don't care two peanuts for the law anymore. And so they violated the Sabbath. And the Lord God cursed them, the West but not you. The Lord God is pleased to help you 
to two victories, one before the schism of 1054, which took place in the lifetime of the Prophet. Allah's blessings be upon And one to come after. It hasn't come as yet. The second one hasn't come as yet. And I'm sharing with you my view. I can be wrong that the second one is coming soon when you'll be victorious and you'll defeat that world that was cursed by the Lord God. NATO. The Quran also speaks positively about the followers of Jesus and says about them something remarkable. And I want to share that with you today. It says that at that time in history, when the Jews are most hostile of all to you, and at that time when another people whose very foundation is heresy and blasphemy, shirk, when they also are waging war on us and showing immense hatred, war on Islam, at that time, says the Quran, listen carefully in Russia, at that time, you will find, says Allah to us, he says, you will find that those who will be closest in love and affection for you, Muslims, would be a people who declare we are Christians. So these are not secularized Christians whose primary loyalty is to their nation, national identity. We are Americans, we are French, we are British. And whose religious faith is secondary. It's private, secularized Christians. No, 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 no. These are a different kind of Christians whose primary identity is their faith. They're not secularized. These are my Christian people who still have the priesthood intact. And the priest occupies a position of great importance in society. These are a people who still have the institution of monasticism intact. And they cherish the monastery. And they cherish the monastic way of life. And finally, the Quran says, and they're not arrogant. And they are not an arrogant people. They don't want to rule the world. <laughs> That's Russia today.